Well, we've come out here onto the 17th at Carnoustie. It's a beautiful day so far. Katrina, Matthew and I were just knocking a few forward down 17 before we take on the challenge of the monster par four that is the 18th. And yeah, I'm getting a few cobwebs away here, but I'm pretty nervous, I won't lie. We know it's a tough, a tough hole, arguably one of the toughest par fours in the whole of golf ahead of this summer's AIG Women's Open. Okay, Katrina, we've got 17 in the bag now. Does that classify as a warm up? I'm not sure. I'm not sure if that's quite enough as a warm up. That's a pretty tough warm up, I must say. <laughs> it's not an easy hole, but where we're going is probably even probably more harder. challenging. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, looking forward to this 18th tee shot. I mean, even once you hit the fairway in 18, it's no easy second shot with that OB's tight on the left. And yeah. then the, the stands up during the tournament, there's no bailout right. So, um, you know, let's hope we're warmed up. It's all warmed up. And to be honest, can we just, can we just be a team down 18? Because okay. I'm really not okay. in the mood to fight this out. Play I'll scramble, already... play I'll scramble. I'll scramble, right, come on. <laughs> We are a long way back. We are. And it's all doom and gloom down there. Lots of bunkers lurking, isn't it? Yeah, bunker on the right. It's a big bunker, 270 yards to get to that. Okay. The ideal line, just keep it on the hotel clock. Okay. The hotel clock, it's the infamous clock. We've heard Alan. <sighs> the difficult bit's always then doing what you've been told. <laughs> Gorgeous. Lovely, lovely golf shot. Position A. I think you take four of those in the summer. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Anything on the fairway here I think you would take, wouldn't you? That was a great shot. I think I'll, I'll try and go kind of right half as well. Okay. I don't, there, I, there's no Ideally, chance. as you said, a draw off the bunker onto the clock would be your perfect. Draw off the bunker? Yeah, onto the right. clock would be ideal. Brighter than yours. Nice one, good hit though. Just pretend for a moment that this is the final round of the AIG Women's Open. I, I can only imagine how that must feel. What's going on in your head? I think final round, if you were up there in contention, I think an awful lot would depend on the situation. I think if you had a two shot lead, or certainly if I had a two shot lead, I would just be hitting something that kept me short of these bunkers on the right. And then potentially, depending on the wind direction or whatever, even potentially laying up and then chipping on, or if the wind was downwind, you would then just hit your second shot onto the green. So I think, but if you were say one behind, I think you'd have to go out with your driver and try and hit that, catch down that left side and give yourself a shorter shot into the green. So I think an awful lot's dependent, obviously on the weather conditions, the wind conditions and how you're sitting in the tournament. You've obviously got the, the Barry Burn that comes in not once but twice mm. on this hole. Yeah, I mean, into the wind for your tee shot, it really comes into play, I would say, uh, the Barry Burn and the tee shot. And then it's making the second shot, you know, so long. Uh, so, yeah, it's just, it's just a tough golf hole. You've got to hit two good shots. Yeah. Obviously, the short game is going to be very important around here, but it's a different style of short game because it's the tight turf. You've got to nip it off. Yeah, I mean, I think you see a lot more variety of shots around the green in the Lynx course because you've got so many perhaps different options. You can putt from off the green, chip and run, a rescue, a wood. So I think the players, um, certainly the, the overseas players, you see them practicing a lot of that, um, you know, the Monday to Wednesday, all the, yep. the different kind of shots you can play. Right, well, you're in a great okay. spot here. On the fairway, so that's good. In. What do we have roughly, Alan? You're just, just over 200 to the front of the green. Okay. Five paces on, so. I might try a little five wood here. A five wood to the front of the green. Hopefully a five would onto the green. Onto the green. Good for you. That's terrific. <laughs> Give, giving it a real That's rip. sounding very confident, not sounding well, overly you know, confident I forget, there. you know, that you are a real professional, a maybe former I'm champion. A, maybe I'm being a little optimistic. No, absolutely not. This is maybe the shot. in too slightly, actually. You're talking me out of this. <laughs> maybe I need my three wood. No, I think you've got this easily. Do we think the clock? Uh, yeah, I think roughly the clock. Good strike. Going for the bailout a little bit right. Yeah, bouncing yeah. away. 
Nice. Thank very, you. very okay. nice. So, I mean, you've just got to take a look down here, all the visual intimidation factor that we see. We've got three bunkers here. The building is in itself quite intimidating. Mm. And of course, there'll be a grandstand there come the summer. It's, you really feel the pressure. It's a, it's a very difficult second shot, without a doubt. So do you think if you were in this exact situation with a three shot lead like you were in 2009, you would maybe just relax and take an extra shot and punch one down there short of the Barry Burn? Do you know what? Without a doubt, definitely. If, um, it's like anything. If you have two putts, use them. So if I had a three shot lead standing here, 200 odd to carry the burn, uh, without a doubt, I'd probably just hit an eight iron wedge onto the green. So Katrina, obviously you are a multi-talented athlete, mother, you've been a, a winning Solheim Cup captain. What are the expectations for you coming into the tournament this summer? You know, coming in, obviously, you know, do a lot of practice coming into this. Um, obviously, I'm going to want to come and play well. Um, I don't feel as I'll have the same pressure that I would have had 10 years ago when I was expecting, you know, wanting to do well and, yeah. you know, in with a chance of perhaps winning it. But, um, you know, obviously I'll have the, the Solheim on my mind as well. So I just wanted to come, come and enjoy it more than anything, actually. That must be a nice feeling to be able to kind of relax into a tournament, former champion. You can, you can smell the roses, as they yeah, say. Yeah, I mean, it's a nice feeling, but I think you still put pressure on yourself because you don't want to come and play badly. So yeah. um, however much people say, oh, just go and enjoy it, that um, I think as a professional golfer is quite difficult to do. Oh, I can imagine, <laughs> yeah. No doubt about it. That wind seems to be coming into yeah. the face a wee bit. I might end. A little bit into. I'm going to give myself a little preferred lie there. Well, that was quite nice. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay, well, I think I'm just going to try and. Right half this of forward. the green, I would say. Right half? Yep. Okay. Definitely right half. Nice, nice height. Well, yeah, good shot. Chipping a putt from there, maybe? Chipping a putt. <laughs> so we've hit the drive, we've got the second shot away, and this presumably is the moment where you can take the putter in hand, hopefully, yeah. and look to the crowd. How do you reflect on that moment at Lytham and St Anne's in 2009? Yeah, I mean, I was very fortunate in that, you know, I'd hit the fairway, hit a six iron onto the middle of the green and I had a three shot lead. So, I, you know, I knew I'd won it. So, um, that must you know, have been the most amazing feeling. Yeah, it was an amazing experience to walk up. I had Graham, my husband, caddying. So, um, you know, it really was a, a fantastic experience. Just the crowd kind of on both sides. And I think the Scottish girls team were there with their faces painted with a saltire so um, you know it's just one of these things you really never forget we obviously hope it's you walking down here come the Sunday with a three shot lead how special would it be for you to win this tournament again and on home soil oh I mean obviously it would be uh, you know a dream come true to win it again um, you know better get quite a lot of practice in for that to happen but um, you know I think we'll have a strong British uh, contingent um, uh, regardless so um, you know we've got a lot Mel, Charlie, George obviously all playing well and then you know perhaps you know Michelle Thompson, Kylie Walker you yeah. know it's from the Scottish lot so yeah they um, certainly know how to play it on Scottish turf yeah I mean I would say definitely if we had um, you know windy weather that would definitely benefit them I would mm. say okay well you've ended up in a really good spot there you've left yourself you know well presumably a nice little bump on mm. and it's that sort of linksy feel shot isn't it yeah it's that you you know chip and run uh, you know standing here looking actually um, potentially maybe just a nine iron actually I could chip and run it land it short and let it run up um, you know get used to what the conditions are perhaps going to be in the summer when that green will be firmer um, you know it'd be much more difficult to try and land it on off a, a tight lie mm. so um, maybe go for the old-fashioned uh, chip and run chip and run yeah and what's the pressure like you know I can imagine the grandstand coming around let's pretend again that you do have a, maybe a three shot lead you're feeling it quite comfortable is this a, is this an easy shot to pull off under under the gun oh I think if you had a three shot lead here you'd just be loving it yeah yeah you could just about do anything you could just kind of anything just not kind of little chip and run onto the green you could you would just be enjoying it I think with a three shot lead you mm. wouldn't be you wouldn't be worried <laughs> how do you think um some of the girls who don't get to play a lot of lynx turf find it when they come across here and they see you you know dab hand you've been growing up on this kind of turf 
playing these little nudgy shots, keeping them low. Do they have to quickly learn how to execute those? I think so, because not, I mean, in the US certainly, and um, it's very much, you miss the green, you just pull out a 60 degree. I mean, the ground's softer, you can get the, the underneath, but um, on the hard, kind of tight links ground, um, to try and hit a 60 with that bounce, you're likely to kind of just thin it perhaps. So mm -hmm. definitely, definitely over here, you need to try and play the ball, I would say, a little bit more along the ground. Now, obviously last year, Sophia Pop off our AIG women's champion it was such an emotional victory and you could really see her keeping our emotions together mm. right to the very end how do you think whoever is going to be standing here about to win this wonderful tournament is going to be feeling around about now walking onto the green I think they'll be having all those emotions I mean obviously they would love to be standing here with two three shot lead and you know yeah. just be able to enjoy this yeah but then again if you have to get up and down the the kind of just the, the energy and the excitement of holding that perhaps two, three footer to win is, mm -hmm. is a great feeling as well. So, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, they'll have varying emotions depending what, what kind of position they're in. Right. Well, let's see. Let's pretend that you do have to get up okay. and down to win now. Okay. Let's see how So I think goes. I'm going to try and land this short and then just let the, the slope bring it round from right to left a little bit. Lovely. So a little chip and run. So I've got a nine iron here just to try and let the ball roll out a wee bit. Love it. That's got a chance of going in. You might not need to. Maybe need it a little more. I think the Tiny greens will be quicker more. come the summer. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but that was a beautiful yeah. shot. Put the pressure back on me. This really is just a nice splash out. Uh, you don't need to try and do anything fancy because if, even if you hit the down slope, it would just run out to the hole. So okay. you don't need to try and you know hit something with check or anything. Perfect. I'm not sure I've got that in the locker. <laughs> There you go, perfect. Sit, 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 sit. I should be a caddy and you can be the player. You, you, you really Followed instruction there. You got absolutely. lovely confidence there, I must say. <laughs> I think I need to give that one to you. I'm not going to deny that I'd agree with you. <laughs> <laughs> Bringing my putter on anyway. Yeah, but you can see how that bunker really isn't that bad because it, you really just get it out in the to that pin, obviously if it's a tight pin, it's a lot more difficult. It's a good spot actually, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, arguably you could aim for that bunker intentionally. Without a doubt, because you I mean, you can see how easily that, especially once that gets firmer and faster in the summer, is just gonna run out to the left. Yeah, okay, with well. With any slight tug. You didn't have to deal with it this time around and you've got a lovely okay. putt for the par to win the AIG Women's Open for the second time. Love it. Oh, easy peasy. Easy, the easy. The crowd go wild. Crowd are screaming. <laughs> <laughs> well, Katrina, that was an absolute pleasure to, yeah, and I a privilege it. to play that 18th hole at Carnoustie with you. And we wish you the best of luck for the AIG Women's Open this summer. Thank you very much. Enjoyed it.